after milling, oh, about nine, eight or nine of these and a number of uh, two by fours, two by sixes, uh, all 16 foot long. We did uh, wear out a blade, it needed change, but we, um, we used it a little longer than we should have. And so what happened was is that the blade started popping off. And to resolve that, we had to do some research to see why. And a couple of things. Number one, I think uh, it, was, it was popping off because we were pushing too hard. When, when the blade started getting dull and we had to push harder than we should, that, that helped offset that blade a little bit. And I'll show you here what, uh, what's going on. So as you open this guy up, you'll see the, the blade, as, of course, as it tracks here. Uh, when you're pushing hard on that log, it's pushing that blade back towards the back end of of these wheels here and it can very easily begin to to get uh, displaced to where it can it can pop off and then the second thing that we were doing which we just weren't sure we we were putting too much water on it so we had the water adjusted too high uh, really till there was just a, a slight stream here it, it, because as the blade got dull it really seemed to help it cut but uh, the more the blade got dull and the water was there, what was happening was is that the water was tracking up above this other wheel and it was hydroplaning the blade. And so as the blade was hydroplaning and we're putting pressure on it to cut because the blade's dull, then it was popping off. And that was our issue. We actually checked tracking and it was good. And I'll show you here in a minute, we'll fire this thing up and I'll show you that the tracking is good. But that ultimately was our main issue. And then uh, thirdly, there was one other issue, the tension here on this belt is only supposed to be a quarter deflection when it's tightened right. We were getting probably about three quarters of an inch deflection there. And so we, we, uh, we installed everything, kind of got it up and running when we originally got it. We checked that, but just after, oh, just a couple hours of operation, I highly recommend resetting uh, the tension on this particular belt and uh, getting that right. So between those, uh, those couple of issues, it totally resolved our blade popping off issue. Uh, one of the things we did notice with this thing getting loose is it would it would stall the blade out a little bit and we'd have to keep that thing uh you know running pretty high rpm to keep that thing going but this was our issue our blade uh blades were popping off and uh, the thing was kind of getting jammed up a little bit or, or not cutting right because that that belt was also loose so definitely need to be paying attention to that That is the drive pulley and that's factory adjusted. And so if possible, they don't want you to adjust that one. So this is the pulley here that they do not want you to adjust unless it's absolutely necessary. And if you need to adjust that on the back side over here, there's some connection that has to be removed. It says that the further they can go, they can actually adjust the other side. So they need to be adjusted on the other side. So the other side is and uh, the adjustment for that is also on the back. 
Monday, the ball will be here. So, uh, make sure we're doing that first. Get this turned off, get this closed up, and uh, we'll uh, get to get to do some milling today. Everything looks good, we're adjusted, tension's right. He's on. We're about ready. 